Hi everyone, Melissa here, and I have a journal I'm going to show you. This is a actually a junk journal swap that I am doing with or swapping with uh, Poet Spice, Jamie. And um, anyway, I'm going to show you uh, what I made for her so I can get it sent out to her. So anyway, I hope you like it, Jamie, and um, here it is. So here's the front. I didn't embellish a lot of the front because of the papers. I love this paper. I got this paper at Michael's. It is uh, the dark romance paper, and I just absolutely love it, and I just thought it was so pretty, and I used a hardcover book that I had. And uh, see, I did the same paper for the back. I just love it. And I did a crisscross binding. That's what I sewed the signatures with, the crisscross binding. And I used metal embellishments that I got from Alicia's Glitz and More shop. And just love those. I thought it just really made the corners and edges really pretty. It's a pretty chunky journal, so I did make a tie for it. Um, you know, I just made a ribbon for it because I wanted it to lay flat for her. Um, you know, and she displayed it and everything. So anyway, I will open it and show y'all real quick. It's, it, there's a lot of pages, so I'm going to go through it really fast. Um, here's the inside page here. It's not a lot like my mini albums. Like I said, this is more of a junk journal. So what I use to, there's three signatures, as you can see, three signatures. And I did the pamphlet stitching to sew those together and then the crisscross to sew them actually to the book. So I kind of did my own thing. <laughs> anyway, this is my very first junk journal. So I had a lot of fun doing it. And she challenged me because I told her, I said, I said, girl, in order for me to do one of these, I'm going to have to be challenged. Well, I stuck my foot in my mouth because... She challenged me, <laughs> so <laughs> here it is. Anyway, again, all of these papers is from that Dark Romance collection, and I just adore it. So here's the first page, and I just, you know, altered a little paper clip. And inside, I put all sorts of little goodies here, and uh, got these slides and this from Marlene. Hello, Marlene got that from her and I just I love these I thought they were so cute but it's something she can you know write on or have fun and some slides she can look at and do whatever she wants to with so um, I did that and then I just have this to keep it closed and this is one page and um, this came with the, per, uh, the paper collection it says love spell like I said it's more of a dark romance type theme we decided to do and um, so, yeah, and then I tea dyed, hand crinkled, hand tea dyed some paper and added that to it. And again, more of this. And then I just took some chalking and matched the color with that. Each signature, I did something completely different. So, this is also from that paper line, this card. I just thought that really looked cool. I did some hand doodling around. Um, I chalked this to make it look like it was really distressed and then I did some hand doodling around the edges so um, back of that paper and then I put some black lace here that was part of the paper collection looks like real lace doesn't it? Isn't that cool? and um, more doodling here more chalking to make it distressed um, got this from I have no idea what paper pad I got that from but I thought it was really cute and more doodling, more chalking, and more distressing. There's that, and more of the paper that I did. Love that paper. And this is, um, my daughter loves Vera Bradley, so I snatched some of the paper that our package came in and put that there. I just love Vera Bradley. And uh, I'll just sort different sizes and shapes. Um, cut up some sheet music and put that in here. That's actually what this hardcover is from. It's an old song um, book. So cut out those, distressed them, and put them on here. More of that um, paper that I made. Um, 
songbook stuff, place here for her to journal or whatever she wants to do. And I uh, got this from my friend Shonda from Slim Cards. Hi, Shonda. Thank you so much. Um, put that there because I just thought that just really looks cool there. And what I did, I did something a little different. I just made these, you know how you find like in like Bibles or something, um, little markers. So I put a little ribbon, ribbon marker in between each signature. And that way, if she say she's on this page and wants to journal, she could just put this there as a little bookmark. So anyway, you can find those in between each signature. And love the skull paper. Isn't that cool? And let's see, and then just more paper here, um, this, and then um, I love this. You can put something here and acts like a little window. This, you know, you, how you get your junk mail and you get those little envelopes. I love that stuff. So I'm always keeping that and recycling and putting that in there. And just another page here, and I um, hand did some notes there. Put uh, more distressing there so more doodling and this opens up this is a little glassine bag and a little something else you can journal in and it just goes in there and then this opens up this way and more places to journal that's some more of my doodling and then like I said she can put pictures or type a journal page or whatever she wants to do on that and got some cards here that I distressed, and I just have those together with a little, little clip, little tiny clip, color that matches the papers, and there's something fun she can, you know, do whatever, and then um, more of the romance. This is a different romance um, paper here. I should have wrote down. I never write down what I what the cl paper collections are. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, and this is just something I printed off from the internet. It says postcard. I just thought it was really pretty and really matched. And just some little elephant ribbon here. I thought that was really cute to act as a little belly band. And still same paper line here. And this came from the paper line as well. Two Loves Kiss Love Potions little card. I love that. I love little ephemera and stuff like that. I just think it's so cool. And just more doodling and then I diddled and made this look like a postcard. Used an old stamp that I had. And uh, more doodling here. And cut an envelope out. Put one of my ATCs in here. So you're getting an ATC from me as well. And um, got this from Jen. Jen Evers. Hi Jen. And just thought this was really cute. I love this. And she can journal on the back of that. So you just put, tuck that in there. And um, just put some ribbon here. Just make some interest. And then this is a little journaling spot. This came from the paper collection. And so did this inchy that I put here. And then Marlene sent me some beautiful, gorgeous um, velvet. So I cut a heart and put that there, just, you know, something to add texture and interest. Thank you, Marlene, again. I love that. And more doodling here. And um, still from the same paper line. Love that stuff. This is from the, no, I'm sorry. This is from the Princess paper line. My Princess pad, I'm still using that. Love that. And um, got that from Art Attack the princess paper line anyway and um, this is from that romance collection and more doodling here more little um, two inches from princess collection and doodling around that of course and then got this tag right here she can journal on another glassing bag that I altered and then it says you put a spell on me that's again from that from from this paper line love it that dark romance love that stuff more doodling here um, another this is a different color ribbon um, this one's brown this one's black just another way to um, she wants to you know need a two bookmarks or whatever and a little envelope here 
and inside I just some work tags and stuff that I printed off. I know you love tags, Jamie, so I did that. Another skull thing there, another card, and um, a little place to journal. And I got this from the prim Princess Collection. It's like a little pocket there. Another belly band from, of course, that Dark Romance paper. And uh, just another little card thing goes in there. And I'm trying to go quick here. Some skull paper. This is what was on the front and back of this journal. More of my doodling. More of my paper. And uh, more of these twinchies and inchies here. More of that same paper that I don't know where it came from. <laughs> and this. And um, oh, and this uh, altered paper clip here. And something else I printed off the internet. Just something fun to do and look at. And um, that. And more of this paper. Y'all seen that. More of my doodling. More of this cool skull stuff. And um, this. I put lace here. Here, and then open that. I printed this off, and I just thought it was a real pretty vintage rose there. And just more of that paper, just fun. More of the inches here, and then this back pocket here has got another tag that I made. And underneath that, I just, I just kind of followed the little lines here, the butterflies, and then cut off some of the butterflies and put that there. Distressed it, and um, just did some crazy stuff. And then another tag here that I made and the back and that's it so anyway Jamie I hope you like it I've had so much fun thank you so much for challenging me I needed a good challenge to get my rear end started in doing these and um, I love it I'm gonna make me one of course to take to church with me because I love to take notes in church it keeps me um, I comprehend better when I'm taking notes. I always, I found that, figured that out in school. So, <laughs> um, I get more of the, of the lesson when I take notes. So, anyway, I hope you like it. I had so much fun. Again, I just made something that I would want myself. So, I hope you like it. I hope it's what you wanted. And love y'all. Hope y'all are having a great day or night. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.